so basically what we're doing here, it, for those that are interested, is there's uh, about 100 LEDs that he's breaking the plane of as he jumps. So we're looking at his contact time and his flight time so we can get a sense of power because we want to look at the side-to-side -side symmetries, right? But we also have two, two webcams going, so we'll be able to actually watch what happens when he does it. And so the nice part here is, and again, it didn't take a camera and a machine to tell me which side you jump better on, right? But it's a couple things. The first thing is we're going to look to see what the symmetries are or aren't. The second thing is we may tweak it a little bit and see if we can improve it right now. And then the third thing is we'll have the data. And so if John has access to, to this device, which I think he'll gain soon, then he'll be able to recheck you. So, so suddenly it becomes much more quantitative than the doc just saying, I think you're ready to go. Do, do you follow what I mean? And that's the challenge. Because if we put you out there and you're still 30% of one side, you're not ready to be out there. Now what we're able to look at is your contact times, your average contact time, how high your flight time was, and then we can get a sense of power, right? So we can see that that, that that middle jump, that 10, was the most powerful of the jumps, right? Mm -hmm. This is where I might train and condition him, right? Because that's a strategy zone. So that's as deep as my squats. That's as deep as my lunges are going to go, right? Because you're successful there. This is your most powerful one. This is where you had the most success. You can see the huge difference in power there, right? And you know that. I mean, I'm not telling you anything you know, but the idea is how do we maybe do something right now to make it better, but also how do we then measure that you're gaining and getting back to the symmetry of the side to side. I'm going to chase your pain a little bit and see if we can't support you. Does that sound okay. fair? Any pain with that? Uh, no. And we go. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's a little more there? Yeah. Okay. Right now what we want to do is, is just see if, if any of that scar tissue we can um, facilitate change in. Okay. Yeah, it shouldn't be bad. When you have inflammation in a joint, it shuts down the proprioceptors of the joint. And those are what manage muscle function. And so it just sets you up for a bigger injury. And the last thing you want is to recover from an ACL or something like that. That's forever. A meniscus is a manageable recovery. So what we transition to, and we may, is to then loading it in the squat and see if we can get the squat a little less painful and getting him ranging. Again, we talk about that, that inflammation cascade, right? If we can start to remodel that tissue, we can start to really speed that healing and change what's going on there. So come on back. So I promise next weekend is not going to be watch Nick treat people. It's going to be teaching how to tape. It's going to be teaching how to, you know, these kind of things. I think you'll find it, but it's going to be a lot less uh, information from a di di didactic piece here. Squat down and, and find that, that range where it's painful. That's different, right? So where do you feel it? It's in the same place. Well, it's magic, right? No. You know, when, when, uh, when, I was first when I was first exposed to this stuff, mind-boggling, right? I mean, you see it and you just go, what the heck? I would like to tape your glute and, and yeah. some of your IT band. Fine. All right? So you want to apply the tape to... Um, to a lengthened tissue because um, that will stimulate those receptors. So I'm actually not stretching the tape at all, but I'm trying to create a, a, a neural phys effect versus a, a space limiting. And we'll go through like how to create those different effects and why we would do that. This is the fun stuff. I mean, you know, like, like nutrition is cool because it's just, it's a tool in your bag that's important. Because if, you know, if he were my patient, we'd be hitting that hard and healing and fast nutritionally. And that might make a world of difference, but this is the fun stuff. Are you going to be there next weekend? Great. The only reason I say this is we're all going to tape each other, and then I'm going to encourage people to keep that on and see what it feels like, because that way you can talk to your patients about how it feels. So we're going to lift this, turn and face us, and let's, let's just have you go through. And that feels okay? Yeah. So I mean, there's some pain in there. I mean, let's be, honest, let's be real. And so you look at the flight times, you know, much better flight times. Do you see that? Do you see what I'm saying? I mean, I, I look at this a lot. So, and w so let's look at what it looks like on video. Do you already see a difference here? Here's the difference to me is the depth that he's going, right? Do you follow that? Do you see that? That's cool because you have more confidence doing it. You follow what I'm saying? So the neat part is we've allowed you to get into this depth. So now you're actually 
you see what happened. Now you're loading better, right? And that's what we're after. So the trick is, uh, what we want you to do is keep that tape on for four or five days. What it's going to do is just drive the nervous system to facilitate those muscles.